Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I was lucky enough to play the beta of New World, the open beta that took place a couple of weeks ago. And I wanted to share my thoughts because it's a new kind of game, it's, uh, it's all about the crafting system and the weapon system and we're not used to that. And I want to share my experience as a first timer that dropped in into New World and died a lot by other players, <laughs> but also got better and I'm looking forward to the release. So without further ado, let's jump into some footage from the game and see what exactly we have to look forward to on September 28th. Hi guys and welcome back to another video from Let's Play Guy. My name is Guy Keren and today we're gonna cover what you need to know when you're starting New World that comes out on September 28th. There are a lot of groups opening up, Discord, Facebook, wherever you can form a group. One is forming in order to really take advantage of what this game has to offer. A lot of people are racing towards, the, towards level 60 as the game opens up. A lot of people form a group to conquer territories because then you have the financial power to actually advance in the game. But, not a lot of people cover what it is you should know when starting. It can save you a lot of time because this game is huge. The zones, the areas are very, very big. And if you won't do things the smart way, you're going to find yourself running back and forth as I did. In the beta, <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to say to you here. I'm looking forward to this game because, well, Amazon has the budget and they want to do this right. They're going to do everything in their power to make this work. But that, that means something. I saw the horror, well, shut up now. the madness that overcame the crew. It was beyond any evil the world has ever known. I survived. I do not know. The contents of this box are not of this world. They will guide you to that one, wherever and whatever that may be. Go then, Captain. Charge your course and your fate. I will say a prayer for the souls of your crew. Oh, look at me, I'm a cute monk. Studying. Yeah, no, I'm not a monk. First of all, I'm a man. Let's see this, a lot of options, it's nice. Ooh, that one looks like sharp. Yes, it's the beta, just gonna fly through this. So. Let's see what they've got. Nice amount of options. It's always nice. <laughs> it's always nice. Alright, let's fast forward this a bit, huh? Okay, let's see. This is cool. Nice haircut. Some beard. Nice beard. I want to look cool, rough, tough, ready for some PvP. A lot of options. That's enough for now. <laughs> All right, icy touch. So let's start. This is a guide from level one to level twenty plus. What you need to know 
and how you can save time and really make the most of the new world release. The first thing you should know is from level 1 to 5 you guessed it. You pretty much need to run, kill, run some more, gather some stuff, kill some more stuff. But there are a few little stuff that if you know right now might save you a lot of time. For example, right now when we meet this right now in the beta, when we meet this enemy for the first time, because of the tutorial animation, we're losing the experience and the mastery towards our sword. So we can just keep the tutorial and go straight to the enemy and get some points. Because why not? I'm not feeling right. That devil storm. What in the nine hells was that about? And where is my mm -hmm. box? I will defend you. You take it. You build right. Something is it right. Come so close. It's not fair. What? What happened? Look at this graphics. Pretty beautiful, right? Hmm. Okay. Equip the food. Rations. Okay, cool. <clears throat> what a waste. Nice mechanic, free mechanic. Okay, not that free. Jump. <laughs> Just jump. For fun. Aha! Okay, this, you need to... There's a mechanic to it. Okay, it's all about the, the sequence. You, you, you hit, you block, you go back, you hit, you hit, you hit. Let's fast forward a bit, see what's up. Auto run. Nice. Ooh, beautiful. Nice. Of running, not up that much, you know. Whoa, what's up? What, 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 brain? Ooh. Is that blood out of your eyes or in everything? Almost just a dark force. Now, I know the island's secret. Now, I know too. <laughs> How am I supposed to block that? What is happening? It's, it's huge. Okay, but it, it do hit for a lot, so I just need to land some hits. Dodge. Hey, what? Oh, I mean, you still need to get the kicks. Now we blend it. Okay. A lot of people, which is nice to see. That's what makes a MMO an MMO. Community really. Hello there. Rough landing, <laughs> yes. wasn't it? Um wow, you're actually looking On the way, you should collect five flint. 
well along, long and bushes. And as soon as you hit a campfire, nice craft one of each tools to at the campfire, which will save you some time going forward. See, uh, it would be nice if I could offer you a cup of meat. I came from the Ever Remember <laughs> that you came death all right. there's a lot of running involved in your world, and if you can either drive. die or drown to respawn back at the campfire, you can save a lot of time. People don't think about it, but it's worth it. But it's worth it to complete the quest, get some money, get some territories, and really push that financial power forward. First F, gauntlet. That looks cool. I'd like to get that gauntlet at one point. So, questing, like any um, MMO, kill that many, gather that much, we all know this part. But, the combat mechanic is fun, and everything like, you keep getting weapons to drop, and you need to craft weapons, and you can't just like, you know, go into a battle with a bow and expect you can shoot it, no, you need to craft arrows which is like in from one point annoying but from the other like it's it, I like it because I, it, it's the truth I mean I need to I need an arrow I need to make it <laughs> so I like that part the crafting as the game opens up you wanna level up your crafting like just to uh, at least to the first level because it makes it a lot faster not like now when you just you can see on the screen you just run run around and skinning and you do all that and it takes so much time and there's a lot of it so you should improve it so you won't waste that much time on that so many people now when we hit level 5 5 to 10 we need to ensure we have the following resources before we actually reach the town. You can also do this during the truffles quest, which can save you a lot of time. So what you need before you get to town, in order to save you the running out from it, and then crafting and looking, because you can do it on the way, here is the stuff you need. 40 stone, 24 rawhide, 1 flint, 45 wood, and another optional and another option is 90 iron ore to make full iron tools which can help you along the way level 5 to 10 is all around gathering herbs if you see them so you can actually craft health potions in town as soon as you can equip the 2 end weapon and that happens when you reach level 5 also wear a light gear because it will help you to travel faster grab journal and lore pages as you go they give a decent amount of XP early on. Once you get to the city with all those stuff in your bag, you're not ready to discover the faction. So go on and take all three faction missions and complete the closest ones. After you take the next main story quest, you can complete other faction missions if they are on the route. As you travel, try and level your harvesting towards 30 and mine iron if you see it. You need 10 mining level to mine 20 silver, which is 5 bars for a quest. When you hit level 10, it's time to pick up all available quests and faction quests in the town you're in. You don't have to complete them immediately, but if the main, but if the main story sends you towards them, you can do both at the, you can do both at the same time and save on that travel time. If your main priority is leveling fast, you can spend your territory standing points on experience bonus in Everfall and Windsor. From level 10 to 20 you should obtain 6 Petal Cop and 6 River Crests once you reach 30 harvested. Create 3 Corruption Potions and retain 3 of each raw materials as this will save travel time later on. If you didn't start in Everfall, travel there on your way to the main quest location to unlock it as a fast travel point. 
unlock other nearby fast travel points as you go. This will save you a lot of time going forward. Faction gear is the best way of getting actual solid gear in the early game. So complete faction quests if they are on the way to your other quest objective. Elite zones in PvP are the quickest way to gain weapons mastery. These are the tips that will help you save a lot of time. Think about it. If, you, if you're missing that much stone, if you didn't take that quest and now you need to run all the way back, listen to this video, see this video again, or even just write down what it is you need to know so you can actually take advantage of your time and not waste it because as I said this is a very very competitive game everyone are already on their way to forming the groups to conquer the cities to conquer the territories and I just don't want you to find yourself somewhat discouraged because you didn't have the time to play as all of those other people who I don't know how have that much time to play <laughs> we need to play smart we need to outplay the people with time and and we do that actually knowing what we're doing so thank you so much for staying until the end of this video I hope that you find these tips helpful if you didn't understand anything do let me know in the comments what what other things would you like to know about new world of course when I hit 20 plus 24 plus you will know what you need to do then and I will upload a video on the higher levels and of course if I find anything worth mentioning I will create another video for you to watch. Overall I'm super excited for this game to come out. Of course there are a few bugs, a few glitches but we need to be patient. If you really want to enjoy this game then you need to know that crafting is like it's such a major part of it and there is no mount in this game, there is no... you don't need it. You just... you have the teleportation and you have your like bonfires which are respawn points and you need to craft your ass off and if that's not the kind of game you like, this game will not be for you but if, like me, you enjoy the fact that it's like... like in real life. If you want to shoot an arrow from a bow, you need a bow and arrow, right? And you need to create that bow, you need to create that arrow and you need the materials that comes along with it. So I really love that aspect of the game i feel as if a lot of the other games in that genre missed out on the crafting and the new world really did it in a rewarding way and that's it i can't wait for the for the game to come out we're gonna cover it the first day it comes out um, a lot of people says like i took i took uh, time off from work to play i have my businesses and this channel is gonna be a big one and I want to put a lot of my energy into cover that game. As soon as it's gonna come out, I'm gonna play like 10 hours. And I bought a, a camera, like a streaming camera, so I can actually upload that footage of me playing because with this camera, with the Canon, <laughs> it's like, it can be like 100 gigabytes and that can't do. So I'm looking forward to actually start streaming, playing with you and getting to know you in the comments. And what do you like and what do you think I should play? And that's it, a new world is ahead of us in so many aspects and I'm super excited. Thank you so much for indulging me and staying until the end in this video. I truly appreciate that and I appreciate you and I can't wait to meet you in your world. Thank you and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Goodbye.